Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a sadistic killer who carried out a campaign of dark ages abuse against a vulnerable man including forcing him to eat his own testicle and has been jailed for 33 years. Sahid Zaman, 43, with the ringleader of a cultist gang from North Tyneside that turned to Jimmy Prout, 45, and began months of torture leading up to his death. Describing him as an evil, vindictive, manipulative and devious man, Mr Justice Dove jailed him for life with a minimum term of 33 years after a jury convicted him of murder. Newcastle Crown Court heard how Mr Zaman scoured the internet and local soup kitchens to find vulnerable people he could control before coming across Mr Proud and making him his lackey. The abuse began after a series of events in late 2015 had created tensions in a group which included Mr Prout having his teeth knocked out with a hammer and chisel. He was also made to eat one of his testicles after they had cut it out and was forced to endure sexual assaults from a dog. Eventually Mr Prout died on February 9th 2016 and his body was dumped on a wasteland where it began to decompose and was partly eaten by animals. Under the directions of Mr Zaman, the group then set about covering their tracks as well as fleecing his bank account asking people if they had seen Mr Prout as they pretended to look for him. Anne Corbett, 26, was also convicted of murder after she assisted Mr Zaman in his campaign of brutality and was jailed for life with a minimum term of 27 years. The court heard she had shared a bedroom with Mr Prout and would have seen the suffering he endured and even watched him die but did nothing to stop it. Mr Justice Dove said words could not do justice to the brutality Mr Prout endured or how they all had betrayed him saying what he suffered was beyond imagining. He said the case involved the sadistic torture of a vulnerable victim which was designed to inflict excruciating pain and monstrous violence. Myra Wood, 50, of K. Rayworth, 56, were both cleared of murder but convicted of causing or allowing the death of the vulnerable adult after they fell under the spell of Mr Zaman. Mr Rayworth was jailed for 12 years and 4 months. Mr Wood was jailed for 9 years. Both were told they would have served Mr Prout from what happened to him and given the help common humanity cried out for. All four defendants had previously admitted perverting the course of justice. During the seven week trial, the jury were shown CCTV images, often taken from cameras Mr Zaman had on his house, of the worsening condition of Mr Prout as the assaults continued. Footage from October 18th, 2015 shows him walking and jogging, but the next clip from February 5th, 2016 showed him staggering along being pushed by Mr Corbett before slumping on a fence. The last clip of all four defendants with Mr Prout and he was in a dreadful condition, supported by Mr Corbett and Mr Rayworth as they walked along the street. That was the last time he was seen on any footage and it is alleged he remained there until his death. So what are your thoughts about Zahid Zaman and his gang of followers and how they used Jimmy Prout as their lackey and torture victim and as Mr Prout endured various torture methods. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.